this video I'm going to describe how I use the boom on my Catalina 22 as a gin pole to raise and lower the mast. It works the same as a homemade or even a commercially made gin pole, but it's less gear to have to move around, set up, and unset, and it reuses many of the existing parts that are already on the boat. It costs very little extra to set up the system this way, and it works just as well, as you'll see in a separate video where I show it in action. So here I have the boom laid out across the push pit with all of the gear attached and ready to raise the boom. You can see some of my running rigging here hanging from the boom, but don't be distracted by that. It's not part of the system. It's just the way I keep my rigging attached to the boat most of the time so that it's ready to go and easy to set up. For starters, I use the main sheet, as you can see the green line with fiddle blocks here, as the power to help raise the mast. It's attached to a strap on the bottom of the boom with a snap shackle. That's where it's usually attached. So it can use the same attachment point for raising. To help keep the boom and the mast centered during raising, I have these two dark blue colored cords. I call them baby stays. They're just temporary attachments to help keep things centered while I'm raising the mast particularly in windy conditions or in hilly ramps and launch areas. There's one on both sides. They end up here at the boom with snap clips that snap into straps that I already have mounted on the boom for other purposes. The one that you see in front here is for my boom topping lift. And over here on the other side, the strap where this cord is attached is for my jiffy reefing line. That's just the way that I keep my running rigging attached to the sailboat. So just reusing the straps that are already here. So we have two straps left and right and also two straps top and bottom. The bottom strap for the attachment with the main sheet and I have the four stay detached right now. It has this quick release lever on it and that's attached to a strap on the top of the boom that's also the anchor for my mainsail outhaul. All these parts are attached with snap shackles or spring-loaded drop cam bimini pins so that everything's easy to set up without tools. The pins are all attached by lanyards to the boat so nothing gets dropped and lost. The other end of the main sheet is attached by a snap shackle to the stem fitting. The baby stay lines, these blue ones, run back and are girth hitched to the top of the lifeline stanchions. Attach them to the top of the lifeline stanchions because that's basically in a straight line through the base of the mast. So when they rotate up and down, they don't get slack or tight. They stay pretty much the same tension all the way. If you drew a straight line between those two lifeline stanchions, it would be very close to the mast step and also close to this gold anodized piece of aluminum angle that I have bolted through the mast step. That's the other key to this system is it acts as a hinge for the gooseneck end of the boom to rotate in. I have another drop cam bimini pin through the gooseneck fitting through a hole in the top of the tab. Acts as a hinge so that the boom and the mass can rotate in unison either up or down. It's mounted through the mast step with an existing bolt that is there in front of the mast and I also drilled and installed a second bolt to help keep the, the tab from rotating when it's under pressure. So that's mostly it. Reusing things that you already have on board 
makes it quick and easy to set up. The mast is already on deck, ready to be mounted on the, or the boom is already on deck, ready to be mounted onto the mast. And in a separate video, I'll show you it in action and show you how easy and how well it works. Easy enough that just about anybody can do it. So you don't need to buy expensive other gear to step your mast. You can reuse what you already have on the boat with the addition of a couple of baby stay cords, maybe a couple of straps if you don't already have them, and making a hinge on the front of the mast step. For more information about this project, or to find more practical, affordable, or just plain cool do-it-yourself projects, visit StingySailor.com, the number one Google website for DIY sailboat restoration improvement without throwing your budget overboard.